So starting with a mother image, whether it's observed or from a photograph, working with that and really channeling what the senses, how the senses perceive it, especially if you're outdoors or looking through a window, you could write down what you're seeing and hearing and feeling and smelling, maybe do a blind contour version of the scene where you're just looking, taking that and creating a simplified tonal image using a water-soluble pencil or pen, really obliterating a lot of the line and going from linear to painterly. From that image, again, working from memory each time, putting away the muse, putting away what you're, what you're observing, and just through the layers of experience, going from this image, which was uh, dissolved with water, letting a lot of the details go away, could inspire a really simplified collage, something like this, that's just the key shapes. This is often something that's a great uh, bonus in terms of working from memory, is the simplification. And one more step to this that might be interesting to experiment with is using the collage as a muse, creating a little bit of a drawing from, just from the collage. You're not looking at your view anymore. You're just looking at the collage. You're taking a look at the key collage shapes, putting them down, noticing, maybe noticing like hard edges versus rough edges. Letting go, letting go of needing to be so reliant on constantly observing something from life, like really allowing yourself to let this transition happen. how memory gets built through layers of observation and how simplification can be an incredible aspect of that process. All right, so now I've worked into this drawing, overlapping the collage a little bit, but that's okay. And then once I've created this drawing from the collage, I can go in with ink and I can just create something very stark like very, very stark based on the collage. I'm just using an India ink here, just bringing in the key shapes. I'm losing the boundaries between the shapes actually. I'm trying to keep some of the character of the drawn line so that the shapes aren't completely static. Then I've got this, I'm remembering this building that comes off to the left, off to the side and a little hedge to the left of that. And then a long diagonal of a path coming in to meet these trees and buildings. So having this very simplified collage born from the simplified painting, which started with this observation of our, from the senses, is a way that we can move from something quite detailed, something reliant on observation, to something born more from memory. So I encourage you to try this, and you can even create like a little bit of a compositional boundary around the image so you really feel what the negative shapes are like, and play with it a little bit.